everyone, this is Steph from Art by Bidell. We are on January 21st and our prompt is peeking, peeking out. And this is for Junk Journal January. I have this page in my journal that has a flap on it. It's a ledger page that was too wide. So I folded it in and I thought, perfect place to have peeking out, right? So over on this side, and I had so much fun yesterday playing with nature that I wasn't ready to put my nature supplies in a corner and work on something else. So we're doing another nature one with peeking out today. And I have this print of a fern that I had echo printed and it's too wide, but it's also looks like it's peeking out. So I'm folded that over and we're gonna have a flip out so we can see what actually is under there and that is trying to peek out. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down because I know that's what I want. And I think pretty much everything has been inked up around the edges. Now we may find some place where I forgot something, you know, it could happen, right? And let's just get enough glue on this. This is heavier paper. It's a watercolor paper. I tend to use a heavier paper when I do my echo printing because boiling technique that I do is hard on the paper. So let's just get this glued down like that. And let's go ahead and finish this side also. Now this can all be journaled on and this can be journaled on. Up here, I want to put a header. For the header, I have a piece of cardboard that I had done a while ago, and it's done with some embossing powders and some spray inks, some gesso, and I just tore a piece of that, and it's the corrugated cardboard. If I have a video for that, I will link that down below. So here we go, we're gonna put that there. And then I did find my nature quotes, and it says, keep your love of nature, for that is the true way to understand art more and more. And I love that, just love that. Underneath that, I want to put one of my scrap pieces of bristly locusts that I echo printed. And I want to tuck that like just right inside there. And it kind of looks like it's going up. It's just an end piece. And I thought, well, you know, I can use that somewhere. And, and this just happens to be the somewhere that I'm going to use it. So I'll tuck that under there like that and put that on. And then I think I'll put a piece of, uh, let's do today, what do we want to do? We forgot to use our, our texture yesterday. Now I don't like that with the cardboard because it's too much of the same. So let's get out this lighter piece and that will be much better. So I'm gonna put that here and Let's see, how do I wanna do that? It's kind of like that. So I'll just put like a good heavy line of glue there. Put my little piece of texture down in it. And then I'll take my quote and I'll put that like right here. And hopefully that will hold everything together. Now, if I take a, do I have a clamp hand? If I take this little clamp and if it'll reach, and that'll hold that down just like that until the glue sets up. Okay, so that's gonna finish that area there. And this area is going to be journaling. Over here is where our peeking out is truly going to come to life. So I have a bunch of bristly locusts. And what I want is I want it to be tucked inside here, but I want it to be peeking out. So what I'll do when I, once I get it in place is I'll fold this so that when my page folds, it folds too. But I'm going to glue it to the back of this piece of ledger paper, just like this, and it'll peek out underneath, over top, and on the whole long side. So let's just add some glue here and put this one in place. I went a little crazy with my glue, so let me just take my rag here and get some of that off, there we go. All right, so there's one peeking out and I have several pieces here. Let me see, there's another one that can peek out at the top. I wanna to be more careful with my glue this time. And we'll put that one like right up in here and that can peek out up there. I have a longer one. 
So I'm going to kind of alter the length of them. And then I have this shorter one. Let me get the shorter one in there next. And I could, I want it to be different lengths. So we'll just go ahead, put some glue on there on the wrong side. Uh, boy, I'm not paying attention. I think I'm getting, I'm getting too much in a hurry here. So we're gonna have to wipe that glue off. Get a little sure of myself and then I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, so let's put the glue on this side. And then we want that to go down in there a little further because this one's gonna stick out at the top. And then we'll put some glue here. Now, there we go. I introduced you yesterday to some of my new paper that I had got. And I have another piece of that. And what I want to do is cover the backs of these because it's just kind of like they're going in all different directions. And so I want to take this paper and I want to glue it down here. And let's see. Yeah, just about like that. And do I want this here? Or do I want to save this for journaling? You know what I'll do? I just won't glue it down and then it can be folded up and then the journaling can be peeking out of there. So let's put glue on here. And then glue this down so that it is in the fold like this. Press it all down. And then that makes the back side of our bristly locusts look a little neater. And that folds over, and then this can fold up so that we can journal here and down like that. So then when this comes over here to the edge, we need to have these so that they fold up when our journal is closed like this. We'll get all of them folded up. And then our page will fold nicely like that. So we have got the peeking out, peeking out. <laughs> and so we're, we're excited now, like what, what is that that's peeking out that we want to see? And we get over here and it's like, hmm, we've got something over here. And so this is peeking out. Then we've got these. Now, you know what we could do? Rather than have them folded like that, which I don't really like, let me snip them off right along the seam and glue them to this page so that they will match when it's open like this when, when this is closed. And then we'll take this one and we'll cut that one off also and glue it down right there and then we'll take this one and that will go right here and then one more and that will go right here so then we have a continuation of our um, bristly locust leaves. But when the journal closes, nothing's in the way. Just like that. There. So these are peeking out. And we want to look behind and see what we've got. And we've got... The, okay, that's not going to just lay there. So we're going to just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of it. There we go. No, we're going to have to glue it all down because it just wants to pull. That's better. Now it should close and open. How cool is that? That's just a really nice big spread there with journaling room all over. 
And this, will, this part's done. Now we need a little bit of a focus on here. I did think about adding some of this paper, but I'm not real impressed with the color. So I did think I wanted to use some of that up. But I do have some brown mulberry paper. And we'll lay that there. I also have another piece of bristly locust that I want to put there in a piece of cardboard here with mushrooms, guys. Got to have some mushrooms, right? So let's add all of those there. And our bristly locust. It is bristly locust, and let's see, colt's foot, ferns. Um, they're all some of my favorite, favorite, my favorite foliage to collect, to use for echo printing. They just generally, generally, I'll say, always turn out for me. Journal space up here. We open this up. We have journal space in here, over here, and here. And we have covered our peeking out prompt. We see it on this side and we wonder what it is. We come over here and we wonder, okay, so what's behind that? This is peeking out, what's behind that? Then we have this lovely paper. Here we go guys, simple, easy. And it covers our prompt quite well, I believe. Let's see how well this is doing as far as sticking now. Very good. And we have another prompt covered for Junk Journal January. But thank you for watching, and we shall see you for the next one, which will be Bookshelf. I have an idea. Okay, have a great day, guys. Bye.